and welcome to Pink Poodle 2. I am Pink Poodle. Here is Maisie the East End Poodle, West End Poodle, Priscilla Poodle, and Belinda the Witch, and over in the corner there is Dora, and Billy is somewhere hiding because it's hot. This is, I'm oh, sorry, I'm just going to put her down. Is that alright with you? Says she's hot, so yeah, I'm gonna. Um, it's, it's what time is it? It's half past eight at night on the I think it's the day after the what is day, maybe. I'm not sure. Oh, if you're wondering um, what's on my face here, I'll be showing you that in an upcoming video. Well, I'm gonna do two videos today, so um, yeah, so one of them's gonna feature that anyway. First video we're gonna do is is a oops is a oh, it's a box from Etsy by Pumpkin Hollow and they've got an Etsy store and they do different bits and pieces like witchy bits and things like that. I'm sorry you can hear Paul clapping and cheering because it's the England game with the female um game today. So he's being very allowed and as Monique quite rightly said it wouldn't be a video of mine unless you could hear Paul in the background somewhere. So yeah, so this is from Etsy. I'll try and link all the information below. I'm getting a little bit e uh, a little bit more savvy about linking things now. It's only took me what five years. So um yeah. So everybody I hope everybody kept cool on the hottest day of the year and subsequently before that and after it is still rather hot um but it is cooling down and um it cooled down quite a bit last night um so it was a bit of a breeze and i think i'm sorry about the glare um so yeah so uh, opening this box here it's all right i've already looked at it all while. i was too impatient but i quite wrap it up a little bit as well so um First of all, and oh, in this box costs fifteen pounds. Sorry, should have said that, shouldn't I? So, and it's a small business, so I was I was happy to be um, thinking a I can't even say the words. They don't want to come out. Um, oh, what is the word? Supporting a small business. Um, so this is two oracle cards, and they have the signs of the elements on the back and I'm not sure what this is from but this says number 12 afflection and it says sorrow and that's what that looks like now funny is enough I was gonna call my I was gonna call Jesse sorrow um sorrow my plants why that I but um I always wanted to call my daughter Jess uh, sorrow but then I, when I was expecting her, I thought she was going to be a boy, so I was going to call her Jessie. And then when she popped up being a girl, I called her Jessie anyway. So there you go. Fun fact, she was actually going to be called um, Sorrel. And Sorrel is the sign of... I can't think what that is I've had. My brain don't want to go there. I'll put it up here. And the other one is... Jewel... Jewel duality and it's a banana and again there's a sign there but I can't think what the sign is so um, I'll put that up there for some reason my brain don't want to work so there's that which just looks really cute and then there's some handmade um, wax melts so she's called these hell at the moon and it's woodland berries juniper and amber and cedar wood I love in fact I've always liked cedar wood and um sandalwood as a child I always liked them so and lily of the valley that was they were the fragrances I really liked when I was a little very very small girl used to love their smells and wet grass and after a storm oh and they smell oh, I wish you could smell them but they smell Oh, they do smell so gorgeous. I don't know what I'm smelling this of. 
I do smell very woodlandy, as if you're walking in the woods, but it does smell lovely. I just don't like the little things herself. Next is a little package here with a little bit of um, yellow ribbon on. And I'll keep all the ribbon because I'll use that for crafting or my hair. And in here, I'm undoing it here, is a little hag style. Oh, you could look through and see fairies. I'm sure I could probably look through and see a couple running around here at times. So that's really nice and it says and I must put my glasses on otherwise I won't be able to read. I didn't prepare myself for reading. I do apologise, I'm just so hot. So I've just got over COVID again. So it was the first time I went out today. It was the first time I went out since three weeks. So I actually did have to, I was able to go out and I was like very glad to have done it because I I needed to go out and get some things so Paul, obviously Paul took us out, we used the wheelchair and um, yeah so that's what we did today which was you know nice to just get out and be able to have a look in the shops but I have to use the wheelchair so that was okay. Right so this says powerful protection talisman that can be be strong on a bedpost or placed under a pillow. I have um, a hagstone above my pillow already which I was kindly given by um, my friend Yvonne, Yo-Yo in the Attic and I keep that above my bed all the time but I might keep this under my pillow for protection because I do like to be protected at night because I think I sometimes can be a bit yeah, this is headstone on the back there. So that's all of that. I have press play. Yes, I have press play. I'm, so, I'm quite tired because we've been out today. So I've been as yet been out for a while, you know. And then there's a little, a little thing here, and it's a little ghosty. He's quite cute, isn't he? And he's got these little red bits on him. So, sorry, I don't know why I smell it, but yeah, there's a little ghosty man. I think that's quite cute, it's going to go back to the back there. Then we have quite a big thing, and I open it up. Lovely colour tissue paper. And this is a plant pot that she has um, lovingly painted with this motif, which is really nice, I like this. So I will be using that for my plants, but I'm going to try and use the plants in here rather than that in the greenhouse because I don't really want to spoil it. And I think that it would look nice in here with a plant in it. So I've got to find a plant to put in it now, which I will do. Because my cactuses are too small, so, so there's that. Oh, I could just keep things in it. Right, so then we have one done up in a yellow ribbon. If you can hear the noise, it's a fan because I've got a little fan on because it's so hot. So open this up. It's like Christmas, isn't it? And this is with all explanations. So this is a word that I cannot pronounce. Seen not yes. Seen keen otius. The drop the dried leaves of these plants were used traditionally by Native Americans on a herbal tea. So there's a little cast of these plants. As you can see there's like, it's been there and that's what that is, it's a little thing to put in your book of shadows or your yeah, grimoire. 
put that in there. Got a nice sort of pattern of those flowers. It's got a little thing to put underneath or something. Like. I can't say that word, so I'm going to show it here. If anybody knows how to say it, they can let me know. I'd appreciate it. So there's that. Now I've seen, as I say, I've seen Yo Yo in the attic do this, and also the Rock and Writers. So I really wanted to do it this time. And then there's a different colour. A yellow with a different colour ribbon. So it's like opening all these little presents because you just don't know what they are. Oh yes. This is a green cutter that she made. It's quite cute. And it says the web weaver dream catcher. So she's made it there. Yeah. And there's a little spider on his web and put that above your bed and it'll help ward off any bad dreams. I I have a dream catcher already above my bed, so another one that's been handmade and it's really cute. I like this. I don't like, I don't mind garden spiders and I don't mind money spiders, but I don't like the big ones that run across the floor. They freak me out. So it says, catch any harm that may hang in the air. The web weaver dream catcher. That's that. I know that Yvonne saw her box and she likes that as well. So there's that. So many places. Then we have this little parchment that's been done with twine. And this says this little the pumpkin press. Your quarterly roundup of the Vuj announcement and news brought to you by Pretty Mandahall. Come and open evening, great deals on spiritual magic. First announcements for the Hall, Hallows Eve 2022. And it's uh, just sort of like, I may have left the village last Monday to attend an annual pre festival dinner for the mayors of the neighbouring Tufty Warren and the Land of Nod, as you know, if you've been in Pumpkin Hollow for a while. And it um, just says all these, it's, it's really cute because it's like a little, I'll read that later actually, I'll read it out to you now, but it's really cute. There's a little bit of, bit of something, isn't it? And then there's what we've got here. We've got this. And this was done up with twine. And this is some beautiful pressed meadow flowers. They are like that. This is really like a little bouquet of flower. They're very nice. All dried. They don't smell. But it's like really nice spring flowers coming into summer. And then we have this blue ribbon here. Open it up. Whoops. We've got a beautiful feather. I'm not sure where this feather's from, but it's very beautiful. You can see it ruffling in the wind. It's ruffled up. It's a lovely feather. Don't want to lose that. And then here we have a, apparently the escort. And this is a Pablo Santa piece of wood. I burn this a lot anyway. Transmit negative energies into positive, creative energies. I, I generally do burn this quite a bit. I really like the smell of it. So, there's that. And then we have... 
a last little thing and it's in a green and it's got a little bird on it a little birdie well and it says Jean thank you for your purchase Gooly and I hope you visit again soon Nancy Open this up. I can't remember what it was then. Terrible one on. Oh, yes. And this is a little thing that says the witch is in, and she's done this on a piece of wood. And you can hang it up. So that's really nice. It's very nice. I like that. So that's the thing. It's nice when things are done personal and your name is mentioned and you know these sort of things mean a lot because it doesn't feel like you're on a conveyor belt so i would definitely once i learn of another box because she only does them every so often i will definitely be getting another box because i really did enjoy that i won't go through what we got because it's just gonna get everywhere and um we got we got the plant pot We've got wax melts, we've got hagstones, we've got oracle cards, we've got a little ghosty, we got um, dried flowers, we got like a plaster cast of flowers, we got like a little parchment paper, we got um what did I just a little thing that says the witches in? So we've got a lot of money, a lot of little bits and pieces for our, and a lot of ribbon, which will come in handy, and the tissue paper. So a lot of bits and pieces for the money, all personally done by that, by the lady. You've oh, forgotten the name of again, Nancy. And we've got this little ghosty here, which is quite cute. And I will put him there, just there, so you can see him. He's in between the cactuses. So yes, so I really enjoyed this video. Really enjoyed this box. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you didn't enjoy it, that's fine too. I don't mind. Do you know what? I didn't even drop it this any of it this time. But. So if you enjoyed this video, please give me a pause up. And if you didn't, that's fine too. Give me a pause down. Um, leave me a comment. If, did you like the box? Did you think it was worth the money? Do you think it was worth the £15 or, or not? Um, yeah, so I really did like the box. Um, I really did Nancy, so I hope you enjoyed the unboxing of it. And I will see you all in the next Pink Poodle video. Hopefully without an encore from Paul clapping when the girls are doing the football. So I apologise once again for Paul. I'll have to apologise in the next video because I'm sure he's going to be still clapping and shouting like he does at the telly constantly take care and always remember it is what it is and it ain't what it ain't until next time on pink poodle 2